And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, snow making its way still across the region at this point. And over the last 24 hours, check out our estimated snowfall totals throughout the viewing area. Some parts of the region only seeing trace amounts. Others catching as much as a half an inch in some spots, or at least uh, estimated half inch in parts of Clinton County, southern Tippecanoe County, close to about a third of inch. Uh, near Crawfordsville earlier on. Still dealing with some of that light snowfall at this time, though some of our northwestern counties dealing with some light snow, some heavier snow just east of Attica at this point. For the most part, Tippecanoe County staying dry and primarily uh, clear of that snowfall chance right now, but we could continue to see chances of a few more flurries over the next few hours. Notice the back building just off to the west of us over parts of central Illinois. That's all headed southeast, right towards Greater Lafayette. We'll continue to roll across the region, not only here at home, but throughout much of the Midwest and the Northeast as well. The strong low pressure system that brought all the cold weather yesterday, all the strong winds, well, that's pulling northwesterly winds in across all of the Great Lakes, parts of the Northeast, and you're seeing a lot of this lake effect snowfall extending up towards parts of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and even Maine. Uh, back here at home, though, we're still looking at chances of isolated snowfall throughout the overnight hours and lingering into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures continue to fall as well due to the northwest. Westerly wind flow 32 in Fort Wayne, 29 Davenport. Zooming in a tad, we're dealing with 31 Delphi, 30 degrees in Remington at this point here in Lafayette, seeing temperatures close to the 30 degree mark as well. We had a high temperature today, 37 degrees. Now, that hit midnight early this morning. Since then, we've been on a gradual decline. Finding 30 here at home right now. Winds from the west, 10 miles per hour. That current wind chill, just 21 degrees. So things certainly feeling much more like winter than they have been over the last week or so. Notice again the isolated chances of a few light flurries throughout the overnight hours. Cloudy skies sticking around early tomorrow morning as well. Temperatures will also continue to take that tumble. 26. Your overnight low temperature in West Lafayette tonight into early tomorrow morning. The cloud cover sticks around tomorrow morning as well. Bus stop forecast, not a warm one. 26 by 7 back up to 29 degrees by 9. Again, a couple isolated flurries, a possibility. A primarily dry day tomorrow. But with all the cloud cover, the northwesterly wind flow, and even I'd like to see more clouds during the evening hours tomorrow as opposed to our precision future cast here. What we are looking at, lack of sunshine, northwesterly wind flow, temperatures, below average. A high temperature of just 30 degrees in West Lafayette for tomorrow. We fall off to 23 Friday night and early Saturday. Saturday, a high temperature around 31 degrees. We may even see some sunshine Saturday morning and early afternoon, albeit it will be mainly cloudy likely throughout much of the day. 30 year high temperature on Sunday, then the cold front comes through, bringing chances of snowfall and yes, overnight lows in the teens. At least those highs are fairly consistent throughout the week. So they're that consistent. makes it a little easier. They're right? consistent, but they're below average. We had 11 straight days of above average temperatures here in Lafayette, and now we have at least what looks to be five, six, seven straight days of average or below average temperatures. So things are certainly a little bit different than they have been. Exactly. You can't yeah. win them all. Nope. All right. Thanks, Cameron.